When your surveillance cameras capture an important event, the quality of the resolution of your footage could be crucial in terms of being able to catch key details in the footage. However, with higher resolution footage, you produce a much larger amount of data that needs to be stored. This issue is resolved by implementing event recording, which gives a higher resolution recording immediately before, during, and immediately after the event. This is accomplished by recording high resolution footage simultaneously while recording the standard resolution footage, but continually discarding the high resolution footage with the passing of time. This allows for a buffer to be created before and after an event with higher resolution footage. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to implement event recording in QVR Pro. To effectively use QVR Pro, you'll need to both install the QVR Pro app, which you can find in the App Center, and the QVR Pro client, which there are download links for within the QVR Pro app. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have already installed QVR Pro. To start, open QVR Pro. And for this tutorial, the first I'm going to look at the camera settings to make sure everything is set how I want it. So open camera settings and you'll see I've already added a camera. If you don't have a camera added yet, we have other tutorial videos you can use as a resource to help you. And I'm just going to click the edit icon to go into the editing window. Now click the stream and recording tab at the top. And so here I have recording enabled and but you can see for both normal recording and event recording, I have stream one. So it, it's the same recording stream during both. So you wouldn't see any difference in the quality when an event recording occurs. So here we can see stream one has the highest resolution uh, preset right now. And stream two is at a lower resolution. And you can also adjust each stream uh, however you want by clicking on the drop-down menus. But I'm just going to leave these as they are. But on this previous screen, I'm going to need to change the normal, I'm going to change the normal recording to stream 2. So this way, normally it'll be recording at a lower resolution, lower frame rate, and so it won't take up as much storage space but I'm going to keep stream one, the highest resolution, highest frame rate stream for event recording. And if I click on the edit icon for event recording, I can decide how long I want the buffer time before and after the event to be to where I have a higher resolution recording. So I have everything set up how I want it now, so I'll just click apply. Now that I have my camera settings set how I want, I'm going to open event management. Within event management, you will be able to create if-then rules so that if one thing, such as say for example, motion detection occurs, an action such as event recording can be triggered. To begin configuring your first rule, click the large addition sign in the middle of the screen. On the first page of the setup, you'll be able to set a schedule for the rule to be applied. I'm just going to leave it with the schedule with all time slots open and click next. On the left side under the if section, you'll click the add button to select what event will trigger the rule. In the add event window under type, click the drop down arrow. For this tutorial, I will select motion detection as the event to trigger the rule. And now under items, I'll check the boxes for which cameras I would like this to be applied to and click OK. Now on the right side under the then section click the add button and under type I want to make make sure that event recording is selected and then choose the camera or cameras that you want this to be applied to and click 
OK. Also, if you click the Rule Thresholds button, you'll see that you can select between 1 and 300 seconds for three categories titled Event Cooldown Period, Event Occurrence Period, and Action Execution Duration. The Event Cooldown Period is the duration of time that can occur between event triggers for a series of event triggers to be considered a single event. The event occurrence period is the duration of time in which multiple events can occur for the action of a rule to be applied. And the action execution duration is the amount of time an action will last after a rule is triggered by an event that occurs at a single point in time rather than over the course of time. Make your selections and click apply. And then just click next and click Finish. Okay, so let's take a look at motion detection in action. This is the camera I have set up in the office that I use to make the motion detection rule. So say some unsavory character comes by to tamper with the camera, it's picking up uh, the move, my movement right here. So it's going to be in red in the time bar below, and the resolution is going to get better. And you'll also see on the right, uh, that motion detection has been detected. And now if we take a look in the event management window as well, we're going to be able to see that the rule was triggered. And you can see the date and time of the motion detection trigger right there. Event recording gives you a clear view of important events that occur on your surveillance footage in order to give you as much key information as possible regarding the situation. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.